So I've tried everything. The only excitement that I've seen today is two car accidents. There's an, this is like Naples for you, okay? There's, so that's it. French fry didn't work. All my lures didn't work. These fish are just too smart, which makes me think one single thing, and that is live bait. Storms uh, will become a supercell, uh, produce damaging wind gusts. That's language that you hear, um, you know, in right. Tornado Alley. Yeah, we don't see that. I mean, that's the stuff that, this is the kind of stuff you would see in Oklahoma City. Uh, we're here in Bonita Beach, Florida. We've had winds pushing in, close to 35 mile an hour gusts. And we haven't been able to catch a single, I mean, we got three bait fish. Um, I want to get some, uh, I've been trying to just get some bait fish just so I could, uh, just so I could, uh, you know, try some live bait out in the, in the bass canals and whatnot in the lakes. But the wind has been so strong that all the fish are hiding. And I haven't been able to catch any bait fish, so, um, I'm here in Lover's Key right now trying to catch the bait fish. I've been mostly listening to the to the egrets. Wherever I see an egret, I know there's bait fish there, and hopefully um, I can catch some uh, some bait fish, and we can hit up the canals and lakes before the rain starts. So he's got four right now, it looks like. They're out there, they're playing around out there. Oh man, that's beautiful. Okay, so we got some 18 Canadian night crawlers. So we got uh, a mullet. A finger mullet, we got some moharas, and we got some night crawlers. We're going bass fishing with live bait on a very, very windy day. We got 30 mile per hour gusts. Oh, we gotta get this out of the way. It's been kind of windy, so there's been new debris on the trail. We gotta clear it so we can get through. I don't wanna drive over all this crap. We're here at our usual fishing spot, and guess what? We got company. We got a huge skater here. First, I'm not surprised because I was fishing in a creek the other day in a very urban place and there was a small alligator. I'll show you guys a clip of that. Wish I had a gator permit. phone's ringing so I mean if there's alligators over there I'm not surprised it's a gator here but it's very weird to actually see it it's a good size too it looks like a five or six footer mm -hmm. but definitely yes there are alligators in southwest Florida well and then our fishing spot where we've been coming for so long mm -hmm. all right so we're at the spot and uh, Katie's got a worm hooked up to a little bobber I'm about to throw a live mullet out there. Let's see what happens. There's a bobber out there. I put a bobber on your on your on your setup. Mm. Had to. All right, so we got both fishing poles in the water now with live bait. So far, there's been no action, and again, today's a really windy day, so I don't know how that's gonna affect stuff. It's uh, really really windy here, so. I don't know how it affects the fish. Some people say it's bad. Some people say it doesn't matter. Whatever the case, it's really windy, so... We're fishing a side of the lake that's not too windy right now. But that doesn't guarantee anything. I lost it. He just lost the fish. Yeah. I, I threw it, what I did was I threw it out like this. Mm -hmm. I threw it out and I moved it slowly over the water. I just bring it back and I had a, a bass on but I lost them, but let's see if I can do it again, okay? Mind of the day. <laughs> well, even though it's a beautiful spot, we're going to roll up out of here and find a different spot. 
someone just caught something and he's coming this way. He's coming. Look at his catch. It's a good size. Alright guys, so I have been fishing this spot here. I've tried worms. We tried worms. We tried plastics. We tried every type of lure you can think of. Okay? And I finally switched up to live bait. You guys saw all the work we went through. Now a bass this big, it's nothing special, right? Okay, this is not a special bass. This is not a special size bass. So this size bass, there's nothing special about this size bass. But I have tried every single type of lure you could think of on this canal. And because it's urban and the kids fish it so much, you can't catch anything. I finally got him today on that live bait. And um, a very simple hook presentation. Now there are snook down there. They are gigantic bass. You can just see them. They come up to your lure, they look at it, and they don't bite. But we just started switching up to the live bait. And uh, we're going to fish here with worms and live bait. And finally start getting some action. So again, it's not a special bass. But considering how hard I've tried fishing this spot with no success, it's finally nice to be able to pull one out of here. So finally, I'm able to pull a fish out of this canal. And I, I haven't been posting the videos because of how frustrating it's been trying to catch a bass out of this canal man but I can finally say I did it man and like I said there are snook here they're bass and they come up to your lure they look at it and they don't bite and it's so frustrating but I'm glad I was finally able to rig it up and I knew it was a live bait that I've been knowing live bait but you've seen with this wind how hard it was today to catch those little you know moharas and mullet or whatever but we got them so there we go, we finally got bass out of this canal and we know what they're biting on, it's live bait. So let's keep doing it. You run? Yeah. Okay, I just threw the live worm out there. A live worm and the fish, they all fought for it. I mean there are fish coming at this lure from every direction. Okay. So I think this is a Mayan, okay so I don't know what this little guy is. He looks like, I don't know you guys comment. I don't think it's a peacock bass. I wish it were, because I've never caught one. I think it's some type of show show show. Right, so two weeks now, I have tried every single artificial bird you can think of on this lake with no success. And I throw that worm down there, and next thing I know, there's five fish fighting for it. So this is the first one to bit it. He's back in the water. Let's go this one. Talk about the perfect wife. If you have a wife that is willing to put a worm on your lure for you, hook it twice. Here you go, babe. Alright, cool. Check this out. Some more here. See, they're hanging out right there. They might have not seen it. Hold on, I gotta throw it more, more, more underneath where they are. Like right in there. Cool. <laughs> I saw four fish just fighting for it when I threw the first one down there. <laughs> yeah. Um. If you're not subscribed to the video, subscribe. We're gonna do um we're gonna be back here today. It's windy. I couldn't catch any bait fish. Um we're gonna come back with some shiners, so if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And I'm gonna make sure to come back here on a good day where I can get a bunch of like live mullet and shiners and come out here and really make some awesome videos. So if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe and uh, on a better day we're gonna make a better a better video. Because today the weather really hasn't been working in our favor. Yep. Okay. Okay. Just gonna go for a watch. See it? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's hiding. Oh, there's like a hole in there. That's oh, see it? Camera, camera. They got one. I'm on it. I'm on it. Cool. There's like a hole underneath that, and they hide down there. This guy's just tiny. Yeah, this is a tiny guy. You know what this is? This is a. I think it's a bluegill. A bluegill? Dude, he spawned the hook all the way through. Oh my gosh! Wow. Whoa. Yeah, I have the camera on it. This is a little blue. Pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a Florida, oh, 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 I'm, I'm cheap. Yeah. I think I'm using a small hook too. I know. And I'm really excited, even though we've only got 
three fish out of the water. It's three different species, right? Mm -hmm. um, that's either a sunfish or a panfish or a bluegill. I'm not sure what it is. But we got three different species out of the water. Um, all in the same little spot. We got three different species. And finally, we get a bite here. I mean, I've tried this canal now for two weeks. Day, night, every lure I could think of. And I finally am able to pull something out of the water, so I couldn't be happier, right? Like, and if you're, um, subscribe, man, subscribe to the videos because we're gonna come back here with on a better day where I can actually get better bait from the ocean, and then we're really gonna tear this place apart.